Hey guys, this is Tampa Tech. I'm going to show you how to fix many PlayStation 4 error messages using this USB drive. So basically, what you have to do is just get a USB drive or the one that you already have stored away somewhere. It has to be over one gigabyte memory. Then you plug it in into your PC and you have to, have to format it to a FAT32 or else the PS4 is not going to recognize the USB drive when you plug it in. So make sure you format this drive before you go ahead and install the PlayStation 4 update on it. Alright, now once you have the USB drive plugged in, you want to format it. It's very important to format this thing. So let's go ahead and do that right now. So let's go to your files and right here should be your thumb drive somewhere around here. Here it is. You want to right click that and format it and do a fat32 and let's do a full format. Format is complete. Let's close that. So I'm going to leave a link in the video description below where to get the PS4 update. It's at the PlayStation website. And you want to download it now. And I'm leaving the instructions also in the video description below. So if you're interested and download now and download to desktop and save so now there it is so what you want to do is right click and create a new folder ps4 and then create another folder new folder and put update let's capitalize it just in case I think it might be happy uh, let me see is it capitalized yeah it looks like it's capitalized there just in case let's capitalize that so let's actually update let's make it look just like the same as before I don't know if it's cap sensitive but just in case so now what you want to do is you want to take the update after it's completed it takes maybe like a minute to complete put it in the update folder then put the update in the ps4 ps4 folder just like that then you want to take the ps4 folder when you double click on it there's the update and there's the real file from the website so let's go and take that and drag it and drop it right in the thumb drive stick and it has to be over one gig by the way your thumb drive your USB drive Alright, so now that you have the stuff transferred on your USB drive, go ahead and unplug it, and that's it. Now plug it back into your PS4. Do you want to hold down the power button on the PS4 for 10 seconds to force shut it down. Once you hear that beep, then this light right here will turn off. And then Take this thumb drive and you want to plug it in. And you want to take the cord and make sure you plug it in the front too. And that's connected to your PS4 controller. Next, you want to hold down the power button for about, I don't know, five to seven seconds. So you'll get the service menu right here after the beep, you hear the beep, then you hit the center button. Then you want to go down to update, 
right here. And hit X. And then you'll have update USB storage device. This, if you update using the internet, that gives you the most corruptions for some reason. The safest way to update your PS4 is update through the USB drive. And then next thing you want to do is hit press X. And then it says connect a USB storage device that contains an update file for version 1.75 or later. Press X again. Now if the update freezes or locks up, then it could be due to a loose hard drive connection. So reseat the PS4 hard drive and restart. If it fails again and locks up again, you might have a bad hard drive. So I suggest upgrading to a one terabyte hybrid hard drive. It's half solid state and half standard hard drive. This will boot up the PS4 faster and also load time will be faster. And that's it and everything should be working and subscribe for more common fixes like this to Tampa Tech later guys